Okay, we're out here with our French and uh, 7.625 French long. I'm gonna take my test runs with my new bullet, run them across the chronograph, and do a little bit of an accuracy check too. Well, that's at 11.97. Pretty damn accurate, and the functioning was good right off the right off the bat. So we're gonna see how it develops with the next round. These might be a little too stiff, you know. We'll check it out. Okay, we're gonna try string two. I'm not quite sure what the velocity should be, but we're already 11 something. And. Hmm. Pull this back. That one didn't want to feed for some reason. Worried about that. Now why I won't do that from the open slide, it's like because the bullets are short. But if you pull the slide back it works. That's weird. Something we're gonna have to look into. Let's see what we can do here. Twelve hundred, and the group's tighter. Twelve fourteen is the one. Uh, like I said, I don't like that that it wouldn't drop with the slide. Because the only bad thing about this is these cartridges are way shorter than what the actual ammunition should be. But this is this is pretty good right off the right off the box. All right, number three is next. Okay, string number three. I'm gonna try that again. Yep. Whenever that whenever I hit the slide release. Bullet takes a nose dive up in there. Goes forward, doesn't want to go. But I don't understand why that when I place the magazine in and just pull the slide back. Oh, now that's doing it. Eh, getting a little fouling or something in there. Or it could have been a crimp was slightly off or something. We'll see if we can get it to function. And well, now we're getting malfunctioning. Or it's too powerful, one or the other. Yeah, that one started 
started getting some malfunctioning. 1243, maybe too stiff. I think number two is going to be the one. That one went through and, and functioned well, but I believe we're going to see a problem with the uh, short blunt bullet creating some sort of a problem here. But let's try out the other ones. And like I said, that one might have been, that one fired and actually locked the slide thing back. So, might be they're getting a little too high powered here. Okay, we're going to try it again. See if we stick a magazine in here. Huh? Now that one went in. Why, I don't know. That was probably... It's 1248. I got to see if I'm getting wild uh, variances. That was the tightest group, number four. So we got one more to test. Okay, last one. Uh, then we'll go, I'll put the targets on the bench and we'll check them out uh, for accuracy. Now the strange thing is, I don't know, Last time this thing popped, right, now it won't. I don't know if it's something in the bullet, the crimp, or what. Cartridges are blunt and short, and I was worried about that. We'll try it a second time and see. Now that time it went. Okay, I, I don't know. Okay, and all this testing was done at six yards, six yards off the bench. So I'll gather up the targets, we'll take a quick look. Okay, looking at our targets, it's string one, not terrible. String two, uh, not terrible. Three started to get a, you know, could be me. That's why I like double checking across the chronograph and find a nice, you know, consistent. And we'll see, here's string four was the most accurate. And string five with the most power was kind of on there, but it looks like four is the most accurate. I'm going to go back, check my chronograph data, and give you a conclusion before I end this video. But that's... That's not too bad. So I think I have the accuracy, the bullet and the accuracy problem down. It's just getting that stubby little bullet the way that cartridge is to function correctly. And I don't quite understand why when I drop the slide release, it'll jam, but then the rest of the magazine will shoot, I think, other than one time. I don't know. But that's just the name of the game. Alright guys, here's what we ended up with in the end of all this. I really could not find anything online. There's nothing in cartridges of the world. I did find something about the French Long. Said it had a 77 grain bullet, traveled at 1,132 feet per second. And 219 in energy. I do not believe that is correct. Okay, because my 
84 grain bullet, which is close to what it should be, and I checked the ammo. You know, we're already hitting at the low end of the load. We're hitting an average at 1192. Okay, and that's what we got there. And according to this, the energy of 270. Say 270, 250, it's saying 219. That's that's not right. Because that stuff functioned perfect in the gun. And I didn't I didn't see any high pressure or anything. Okay, so our first load, we got an average velocity of 1192 and in standard deviation of 15. That's the number I keep looking at. Now this one here, bumping it up two tenths of a grain. Uh, you know, the groups are about the same. The group here, the group here, you know, not terrible. This one had a standard deviation of 10, average velocity of 12.05, an extreme spread of 24, a little bit better than the other one, so that's a little bit tamer. Then we went up two tenths here. Got a little bit more of a spread, but this is where I was running into the jams. And you see we bounce up. We got an average velocity of 1230, 1236. So we went up about 30, you know, standard deviation of 16. Now the one that really was the killer group right here, this one, um, this one gave us average velocity of 1263, so another 30 feet per second, standard deviation of 11. Okay, not too terrible. It was not that bad of a group, but then again, don't know if it's overpowered. So, we go to the last one, still pretty damn good, but we had the Average velocity of 1288. I think this one was a little too hot. Standard deviation of 15. So it looks like the winner, in terms of accuracy and all this other thing here, is uh, this load. You know, all I'm saying is I believe the information I got is wrong. Uh, the gun seemed to handle it, but not having factory fresh ammo to check against it. I don't know if it was recoiling hard or too hot or what. Usually when you fire factory ammo and your hand loads are a little hot, you can tell the difference. But other than some of the small malfunctions, which I have to look into, that was something I was worrying about with that gun is that shorter bullet and length and not being the correct shape that it would create it, but the thing functioned fairly well. Uh, so that's where I got it too, but accuracy wise from what other people are telling me, and this is at six yards, that's pretty damn good. Okay, no matter what bullet you use, all of them, all of them cartridges shot well. All right, so that's where I'm at, boys, and just ready to keep slugging away at it.